Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Bob McDonald. As you know, uh, when while I was in Los Angeles in uh, gauging a homeless man to determine his veteran status, I asked the man where he had served in the military. He responded that he had served in special forces, and in an attempt to connect with that veteran to make him feel comfortable, I incorrectly stated that I too had been in special forces. That was wrong, and I have no excuse. I have great respect for those who have served our nation in special forces. They and all veterans deserve a Department of Veterans Affairs that provides them the care and benefits that they have earned. We at VA are working hard to restore trust, and again I apologize to those who may have been offended by my misstatement. We remain very focused on continuing our progress to better serve veterans. I'd be glad to take your questions Mr. at this Secretary, time. Mr. Secretary, uh, Dave Wood from Huffington Post. Hi, Dave. Have you had time to think a little more deeply about what caused you to, to burst out like that? And what, sort of what was your motivation? Well, Dave, my, as I said, my biggest motivation, my biggest motivation was to connect with the veteran. As all of you know, uh, in my first national press conference, I gave out my cell phone number and uh, many of you have been kind enough to publish it and repeat it and I get calls from veterans every single day. My whole purpose in this job is to try to connect with veterans and to better serve veterans and so that's what I was trying to do. Mr. Secretary, a lot of, hey, people, hey, a lot of people are wondering, hey. Mr. Secretary, with your experience, your service to the military then and now, how could you possibly say such a thing? I made a mistake. And, uh, and I apologize for it. I was uh, in the Army, went to West Point, I was an Army Airborne Ranger, went to Jungle Warfare School in Panama, Arctic Warfare School in the Arctic, Desert Warfare School. Uh, when I was in the 82nd Airborne Division, we were the Rapid Deployments Force for the U.S. military. Did you even realize that you had made that mistake, as you call it, and did you ever think completely corrected? I was talking to a homeless veteran. I was concerned about getting that homeless veteran, if they were a veteran, the kinds of cares and services that they needed. What I said was not on my mind at the time. I was trying to connect with them, and we had people with us that could help get them into a home if they were a homeless veteran. Mr. Secretary, you say there's no special forces who say they feel a bit insulted. Even with your service, even with your ranger tag, they have a sense of insult. Would you answer that? I apologize to them. Suzanne Malvo. Suzanne. What you try to do when you connect with someone is try to find common ground. Uh, and with veterans, my common ground is my veteran experience. And so what I was trying to do is find a way to connect with that veteran. And as I said, I made a misstatement. I apologize for that. I have no excuse for it. But if you look at my 61 years of biography, you'll never find anywhere in any of my biographies that I've claimed to be part of Special Forces. I've never claimed that. It was a misstatement. It was a mistake. Did anyone in the entourage tell you that you had misspoken or told you that it was not accurate? The question was, did anyone around me tell me I had misspoken? The answer is no. Secretary, you also recently stated that 60 people had been fired from the department based on misconduct around the scandal allegations from before you were secretary. Is that something that was also a misstatement? Are you concerned that these are going to undermine your ability to rebuild the trust you talked about in your statement? For my 61 years, integrity has been one of the foundations of my character. It's the reason I was a Boy Scout, the reason I went to West Point, the reason I went in the infantry, the 82nd Airborne Division, the reason I joined the Procter & Gamble Company, and the reason I'm here. The reason I want to be here is to care for veterans. So, um, you know, integrity, character is part of who I am, and uh, I will do better to make sure that I don't make mistakes like I did in Los Angeles. Mr. Secretary, right now, Captain Hill lawmakers accepting your apology. 
feel like you maybe use up your one free pass you have with them to the relationship that the DA's had with Jack Wilson? Look, at, trust is something that is gained every single day, one veteran at a time. When I get these phone calls from these veterans or text messages, they tell me the problem they have. I go away and work on it with a team of people that I have. And if I can solve that problem, I've earned one bit of trust. Now, I may give up a bit of trust the next day, but my job is to work for these veterans every single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and get them the benefits that they've earned. I ever, served with them. Did you ever consider resignation? I want to serve. I want to serve veterans. I'm here to try to prove that we can make VA work, and that the veterans, the veterans who we serve, can get all the benefits that they've earned. And that's what we're working against. And we're making progress. Wait times are down 18 uh, percent. Backlog is down. The claim backlog is down about 60 percent. Homelessness is down 33 percent. Great progress made during General Shinseki's time when Sloan Gibson was interim secretary. We're trying to keep that going. Have you seen the I'm sorry, I can't hear. Chairman Miller and others have questioned the statements you made on the press about the number of people that have fired. And there's been some clarification that you said there were 900 people fired, 60 were directly related to the weight of the scandal, when in fact there was a much smaller number. I guess they're saying there might be a pattern of credibility issues here. Well, Chairman Miller and I meet frequently. We talk on the phone frequently. We have a great relationship. We work together uh, to help solve veterans' issues. I think what you saw in uh, our last committee hearing was tremendous unanimity from uh, all the members of Congress and uh, the VA around what we need to do. We're here to serve veterans. Everybody wants that. Nobody can dispute that. Thank you very much for your questions. Thank you. Sir, if you did misspeak, what exactly were you trying to say? 